Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. And today we are obviously not in the bourbon hut. We are actually at, uh, well, Hard Truth Distilling Company. Whoa! Here in Nashville, Indiana. Um, Surrounded by all this cool stuff. I know. We got this, bottles here. This we got a cool barrel wall. stave wall with LED backlights. I know. And we have in front of us the brand new bourbon whiskeys coming out of Hard Truth. We are so excited to taste them, review them, smell them, look at them. Mm. The leg check is in effect today. So let's hey. get to it. What we have in front of us are three different expressions of Hard Truth's brand new bourbon. We are here at the release event, woo woo, February 24th of 2024. Four. You almost said three. I almost said three. Almost. 2024, um, we're so excited to be a part of it, um, a very small part of it because we're not doing any public interaction or anything like that with this. But this place smells like heaven. But the they were nice enough to let us use their speakeasy to review these for the channel. So we're just going to get right to it. We have all three of them lined up in front of us, and we're going to start with the Sweet Mash Bourbon. Oh. And I'm so ready for this. Dude, so I love the Sweet Mash Rye. Just imagine what the Sweet Mash Bourbon is going to do. I know. I'm so excited. And you're not a rye guy, and you love this rye. Mm. So here we go. So the Sweet Mash Bourbon coming in with a mash bill of 73% corn, 19 rye, and gonna be 8% malted barley. I can't wait for that one. <laughs> a middle, middle of the road rye, rye content. You're not looking at a super high rye content there. It's not super low. It's kind of right in the middle, right where most people like to be at. I like a higher rye, but we're, I'm excited about this mm -hmm. one anyway. Coming in at 90 proof with an SRP of 44.99. You want to get to it? Oh, I so want to get to okay. it. Okay, so here we have the Sweet Mash Bourbon Whiskey. It's so weird to say Sweet Mash Bourbon Whiskey. Oh, We've I know. been saying Sweet Mash Rye for so long. Anyway, so the color on this one is an absolute beautiful amber. little amber, like a tawny amber on this one. And the leg check is. It's all con oh, confirmed. Look at that. Oh, yeah, she takes a minute, but it. It's there. It has that. Gotta grow into those legs. It has that oiliness that I can tell this is gonna be a viscous one. This one is gonna just. Mm. What they tell us, this thing is almost like on the cusp of five years old. It's just over five years old. So all of these are just over five years old. And is it worth the wait? Let's find out. So on the nose, everyone. Oh, I'm a happy boy. Mm. Beautiful notes of caramel. I get a little bit of grape. A little grape, I could see that. I'm getting like, like nuts, like a nuttiness to this one. My goodness. It, it, this just jumps out of the glass. It's kind of effervescent. Even at a low oh, yeah. 90 proof, <clears throat> you're not getting is... any ethanol at all. No, it's sweet. This is just pure, sweet, mash. nutty. Yeah, sweet mash. <laughs> aromas. So anyway, let's go in for a taste on this one. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Yeah, it just lays across the palate. Mm. Super, super just viscous, oily. I think they did this wrong. Mm. There's no way they got rid of the angel share. Because <laughs> it has, this tastes like heaven. It tastes like heaven. It really does. My goodness. At a 90 proof, this is the bourbon right here. This, this is, Sweet mash needs to be a thing. Let's just put it that way. This, this reminds me of, oh, what's that candy bar? Um, Charleston Chew. No, not a Charleston Chew. I'm talking like, it's, a, it, it's a, like a toffee kind of candy. Toffee? <sighs> Well, it, it has like a chocolate layer. Sugar daddy? No, I don't remember. Anyway, it, it's like Payday. it's like a chocolate layer on top of just this nutty, caramely toffee mm. that just finishes so well. It's not super harsh at all on the finish. It's just Hunter very warm. <laughs> okay, we can stop guessing chocolate bars. <laughs> 
it, it's it's just so well rounded on the finish. It's not a super long finish though. No, no it's it's, it's very. I don't expect that at ninety proof either. But it's pleasant. Yes. It's it's nothing that's going to be abrasive here in the chest. But man, it sticks with you. And right. it's smooth yeah. as the day is long. All right, one more sip, and then we'll uh, move on to the move next on bowl. to the next one. Mm. Which, by the by, they were nice enough to give us a nice little spreadsheet on each of these, giving us you know, yeah, we have the wrap sheets, the proof mm. prices. We're ignoring tasting notes because we don't want to spoil it for ourselves. I know. So, as a brand ambassador for Hard Truth, I have gotten all of these in advance to be able to sample out to folks, and I had to do everything in my power not to taste them. Uh, because I just wanted to rip them out of the box. Dude, and just you got to smell them every them. day. I can only imagine. Oh, it was magical yesterday at my tasting. People were coming in. They were excited about the bourbons. And uh, it, it just smelled like, like it does right now, like a distillery. Just fine bourbon just everywhere. So moving on to the next one, we have the weeded bourbon here. Bottled in bond. I was going to say, this one coming in at 100 proof, bottled in bond. Oh, buddy. We jumped through all the hoops, did all the federal regulations, single distillation season, single distiller, four years old minimum, eight, and bottled at 100 proof. And the price is only $54.99 MSRP, mm -hmm. so that's, that's a pretty good price. It's a pretty good price. It's a pretty good price for a premium Some product. people might think, oh, it's five years, but I don't know what it is Hard Truth does. Their stuff, even though it's young, tastes a lot older. It's got to be the sweet mash. We, that's the only thing I can think of that's different. We have a magician working for us. Brian. His name is Brian. Yeah. And his team. Don't forget his team. Yeah, yeah. We cannot yeah, forget I, the team. It's like a, Chris, is that right? I believe his name is Chris, but if we got your name wrong, please... Smack me in the smack, face. When smack us in the comments down below. And while you're down there, by the way, before we get into this, go over there by Jake somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put this one, but uh, the subscribe little button is going to be down there. We'd appreciate it if you hit that. Help us get to that 500 subscriber mark. And as always, thank you all to who have already hit that button. And, uh, you know, help us get to that 500 so we can head on to 1,000 and do that giveaway for you as well. So. With that being said. The wheated bourbon mash bill is going to be 69% corn, 19% wheat, and 12% malted barley. Going for that softer, more fruit forward, Delicate. Delicate. I feel like weeds are generally more delicate. So I've been looking for an alternative to Weller. Every, I think everyone makers. has. Well, makers, of course, but I want something different. I want something different and more something interesting. So sweet mash, perhaps. So let's get into this. Leg check on this one as we look at the color. This one looks a little bit darker than the bourbon. Of course, you know, the proof is a little higher and the leg check is successful it is successful again my goodness we are two for two on the leg check on these glasses so let's go in for a nose oh my oh, god wow. this might be better than the bourbon this reminds me of almost a campfire as we have something that going across the table <laughs> there's a table moving there's a restaurant about 30 feet that direction my goodness. This reminds me of a campfire. Sitting around a campfire and roasting like... Oh, it smells so good. Do you get like homemade like vanilla like marshmallows, like super vanilla marshmallows? I can see where you're coming from with that. Yeah, it reminds me of like a Rice Krispie Treat almost. Yeah, my goodness. As a matter of fact, that's what it is. It's a Rice Krispie Treat when you're getting that butter going and you add the marshmallow and then eventually you just add the Rice Krispies. Yes. Yes. Homemade Rice Krispie Treats. All right. So let's go in for this one. Jake's excited. He's hitting the table. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm. Tastes like marshmallow, too. It tastes like. Oh, wow. It tastes like a s'mores. It really does taste like a s'more. A s'more? Give me some s'more. My my accent's coming out. <laughs> give me Toro, give me s'more. Wow. That is incredible. 
What happened to that bottle? To shreds, you say. <laughs> This one, and the finish on this one is a lot longer. Obviously, the proof is a little mm -hmm. bit higher than that. Got them 10 proof points. Oh my goodness. So I get a little bit more of the rice, or not rice spice, but I get like a pepperiness. That There's, wheat spice. Yeah, that wheat spice. There's no rye in this. But I do get like a little bit of a pepperiness, like a subtle pepperiness on the back Almost end. like a campfire. All, almost, yes. I'll tell you what, I can't just sit here and enjoy this anymore. I gotta enjoy it again. Just do what do it one more time. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. After tasting it, the those those vanilla notes, those notes of almost just it. You took my word. You took my dang word. Now I gotta find another word for nougat. Nougat. Yes. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna say it. We might need to get some more sweet mash distilleries out and about. Because <laughs> if this is this good. Yep. Sweet mash needs to become a thing. I know it's a more labor intensive process, but. The so finished far, product. So far, we're two for two. I really enjoy both of these. We're gonna grade them at the end. But it's gonna be stupid. I know these. So moving on to the last and one. And it's so smooth, by the way. Yeah. None of these are overly abrasive. They're very easy to drink, very sippable. I've tasted some hundred proofs and went <coughs> before. Yeah, you've also inhaled <clears throat> some hundred proofs before. That's besides the point. That's not that's neither here nor there. So it was back there, not here. So moving on to the final bottle here, we have a four grain bourbon. Also bottled in bond, so jumped through all the federal hoops, did all the things, and this one coming all in the stuffs. with a mash bill of 78 corn, 9 rye, 9 wheat, and 4% malted barley. Mm. Um, this is the only bottle I, I accidentally watched a review on, and I wasn't happy with what they said. It's corny. <laughs> so we're going to give it a fair shake. We're going to give it a try. So... I've watched zero information on it. I, I this is my first. The thing is, I I don't know why I watched this review. I think it was just on when I woke up from my random say, old man nap. I know how you are. You'll fall asleep watching bourbon reviews and wake up on a different bourbon review. Yeah, I'm weird like that. But anyway, so let's go to the appearance and of course the ever important leg check. This it just gets darker. Mm-hmm. This one's just a little bit darker, still with that nice copper, oh, yeah. like a brass. Yeah. Legs so, for days. Hard Legs truth. go all the way up, Griffin. <laughs> so, Hard Truth, you are three for three on the leg check, the ever important leg check. In my book. Yeah. And that's hard to do. I never see products back to back to back that have that viscous, that oiliness to them. So, oh, I went in for the nose a little premature, but I'm so glad I did. This is just big, bold butterscotch pie. Do you get a little bit of peanut butter? Mm-hmm, a little bit of peanut butter, but to me, it's a lot of just big, bold, like a butterscotch pie with a fresh crust to it. Oh my goodness. Peanut butterscotch pie. I need to take a minute. I need to collect myself. Before you shrek yourself? Before I, before I wreck myself, my goodness. I am picking up like notes of like, like I'm getting oak, I'm getting a little bit of leather, like a lightly tanned leather. But that butterscotch is just unquestionable. <clears throat> Proof it down to 35. Oh yeah. Don't you do that to this whiskey, I'll beat you. I'd have to guesstimate. Yeah, my goodness. I'd All right. have to add one third water about. All right, let's go in, bud. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, y'all. This is the smoothest of all three of them. The butterscotch goes right through to the palate. 
And see, I'm finding it very light compared to the others. This one is very light, but I can still ascertain those notes, like the butterscotch notes. I'm getting almost like... To me, it's almost like I just took a sip of sweet tea and then... Almost like a honey crisp apple. A little honey crisp apple action. Oh, goodness. Yeah, like an oversweet caramel covered apple. Mm hmm But the finish is a little smoky. Is a little smoky. There's pepper. I'm getting like a hint of maple. Maple or honey or some kind of sweet syrupy. Dude, that's Coke syrup right there, straight out of the bib. <laughs> it's just McDonald's Coke. No, it's not McDonald's Coke. It's so much better than McDonald's Coke. And not many things are better than McDonald's Coke. I say, there's not a lot of soda out there that's better than a McDonald's Coca-Cola. Yeah. So, hard to Say what you will, but I know what a good Coke looks like. All right, I know what good Coca-Cola is. What are you talking is. about? What are you talking about here, son? Anyway. <laughs> and that's the truth. Exactly. Bourbon goes in, wisdom comes out. I had to wear this shirt just for this occasion. It's, I mean, it's why a bourbon not? release. Why not? It's a bourbon release. So, hard truth, honestly. What shirt did I wear? These are three. Plain um, gray long sleeve t-shirt. <laughs> these are three amazing products that I would be so happy to just keep on my bar. The price points are right for each and every one of them. I don't. Did we go over the price point for this one? This is fifty nine ninety nine. Fifty nine ninety nine. If we didn't, so so for less than seventy bucks, you could walk in, take it home, and then drink it on your way home, which you shouldn't do because the drinking and driving is illegal. But yeah, we don't condone drinking and driving. Be responsible with your alcohol, people. Wait till you get home. But. For the price of, well, from the low, low price of $60, I mean, not many people will see that as low, low, but no. for a, from a craft distillery to price their stuff according to... Craft distillery slowly becoming a location distillery. Yeah. I mean, these prices are absolutely amazing. They're not going to break the bank. They're a great quality product. Um, let's just, uh, let's break these down. Let's give them a score and... Uh, and we'll go from there. So the Sweet Mash Bourbon Whiskey, where are you at? He's got to figure out where he's at. We're in Nashville, by the way, Indiana. Brown County. Brown County. While he's figuring it out, I'm going to figure it out. Are we being hypercritical like we said we were going to be because, well... Yeah, if I'm being hypercritical, this is an A minus simply because there is an astringency that is slight to it, and it's it's gone so fast, but it's there and it's yeah. But then the wave washes it away. Mm -hmm. So, being that hypercritical person, I think I'm going to agree with you, and A minus on this one. At the price point that these are at, it's... this is probably one of the better bottles out there right now. And it's the, one of the fanciest bottles out there if you're one of those people. Yeah, if you're one of those people. Has beautiful labels, the embossing on the back, the natural cork top, the tapered sides with the grooves for very nice grip. And you can look, and there will be very few of these that look alike. Mm -hmm. None of them are the same. Like Just like a fingerprint, none of them are the same. And I've said it for about two years now. This is the best packaging in the whiskey game. Honestly? You could almost use this as a stamp for mm -hmm. like, just ink it. Or like a wax thing, mm -hmm. one of those wax things. You could do that. So for this one, I, I'm as well at an A minus. Yeah. We're gonna just jump back to that. I'm at an A minus as well. I think this is a great quality bourbon coming out of Indiana. You don't see a lot of great quality bourbon coming out of Indiana outside of obviously, you know, Ross and Squibb, MGP, whatever you call it. Um, MGP, who the heck is Ross and Squibb? <laughs> I know, but yeah, outside of Hard Truth, Starlight, and maybe a couple others, I think this one is is up there among the best. Starlight has mastered the finishing process. We'll just say it that yeah. way. Yeah, and and we ain't we ain't fucking around with them. Excuse mm -hmm. my language, but anyway. So for the weeded bourbon, gotta gotta give myself a, a reminder.
Are you okay over there? If I'm being hypercritical, this is an A, which is ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with this at all. There's really not. I mean, it's sweet. It's a little savory. It, it, it gives lays me on that your palate for a while. It just gives me those memories of coming home from school and mom making up a batch of Rice Krispie treats. I mean, what's not to love or about that? Scotch snack pack, or, or or like a snack pack, something like that. Just gives me really good memories, and uh, for that reason, I'm. I don't think it's the best weeded bourbon I've ever had in my life, but at its price point, um, it's hard to say no. It's hard to say no, and it's hard to beat. So I think that A is going to stick for me as well. So on the four grain, this one did have a little bit of a, of a subtleness, like Jake was talking about. Normally, I, I find four grains a little bit dusty, murky. Yeah, very light and wispy. But this one it actually is very, very, you know, forward with the the aroma, forward with with the palate. At least for me, I know you said it was a little muted for you. I'm gonna go go get some water. A little, it is a little muted, but also all the flavors marry so well that it's almost hard to pick them out individually. Mm hmm Because they all just are perfectly. What's the word I'm looking for here? Perfectly married? Eh, kind of. They're in symbiosis with your tongue. Yeah, I can see that. I had to, I had to go back to Spider-Man 3 it, and had to think of the word symbiote to come up with symbiosis. <laughs> so it does words. take a little bit to pull notes out of this one. Yes, you have to let it sit there and really think about it. So this one, if I had to rank them, rank them, if, I would probably... Best to worst? Uh, let's give it a letter grade first. Right. Because I think this one for me is probably a B plus. That's get out of my head. <laughs> Leave my brain alone. We're very good friends. Obviously, we we get along. And <laughs> don't hit the wall, please. <laughs> anyway, remember that episode of SpongeBob? Plankton takes over. <laughs> get out of my head. Leave my brain alone. Hi, Squidward. Ah. So anyway. Going back to these, giving them a quick ranking, um, I think honestly for me, the weeded bourbon is probably gonna be my favorite with the sweet mash bourbon in, in second. that order. And the four grain in third. Even though I do really enjoy the four grain, don't get me wrong, even though this is a ranking, it's a ranking among- These three. These three, and all of them belong in the heavyweight division. Okay, this turned to chocolate, this bourbon. Oh, the, the bourbon bourbon? Yeah. It does have a chocolatey note now to it. You get some air in and it turns to chocolate, guys. That's wild. So, so yeah, that's gonna do it for us here at the Hard Truth Distilling Company. Speak easy, we, I'm calling it a speak easy. It, there are a lot of doors to get into this thing. Uh, so we wanna thank you all for joining us and we wanna thank Hard Truth for giving us the opportunity Sincerely. to come down here, review their bourbons, taste them, look at them, smell them, do the leg check on them and all setting us up with this all things beautiful room and live edge bar yeah Ooh. so i i'm so happy to be an ambassador for this uh this company I'm we're doing to be a fan we're doing amazing things if you're in the area please come check out this distillery it's a destination all kinds of tours all kinds of experiences we have hard truth on the rocks that's a giant concert venue we have the Big Woods Restaurant here, ATV tours, Tiki Boat tours, single barrel experiences. The tiki Boat tour is new too. I know, the cocktail class and all things encompassed right here on the 325 acres of hills and hollers in Brown County, Indiana. And until we drink again and until we're back in the Bourbon Hut, we wanna thank you for joining us and remind you to share a pour, especially one of these three or any other Hard Truth product with yes. your friends and family, because just like the movies, memories don't make themselves. They do not, bud. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, y'all.